Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and in this video we'll be looking at HDRIs and the advanced environment settings in Dash Studio. So let's get to it. Okay, so in this video we're going to look at the more advanced settings in, environment, in the render settings for the environment. So let's get started straight away. So over here we've got the dome mode and we're going to look at finite sphere. Okay, so with finite sphere you get some extra settings which we'll go through. So we'll leave visualize finite dome for now. The most important one I want to go to straight away is this one here, dome scale multiplier. So at the moment, the actual dome is multiplied to 100, which is the default. So if I set that to, for example, say a lower number than 100, say five, this is what's happened. We've scaled our dome by five. So we've actually scaled it down a bit. And actually this looks a lot better, doesn't it? So it looks a bit more clearer, crisper uh, as your background. Okay, so we've actually rescaled the dome, the size of the actual dome. Okay, so over here we've got dome radius. So this is the actual radius within the actual size of the dome. So if I set this to a lower number, say like 20, this is what happens. So what you get is this is the actual dome now. This is your dome. This here is the actual dome here. Yeah. This is what we created with our finite sphere. So this is what it means by finite sphere. We can actually control the actual size of the actual sphere, the, the, the actual environment, the actual dome. So this is what we've done. This is our dome here now. So if I go back here and do visualize finite dome, it changes a different color. So what that means is say, for example, is if this was back to 100, I know that this is the actual finite dome area this year. This is the actual finite dome. This is telling me that this is the finite dome area. So if I, for example, get lost somewhere, I know I'm still inside the actual finite dome area. So if I set that back to 20, you'll see it's like that. So I can turn that off. Right, so these two actually work together. So if I scale the dome multiplier again, say to 20, it'll get bigger. The actual dome size will get bigger. If I made the dome radius smaller, there you go. So you can, so these two work together. So you need to really work out what you're looking for, what you're trying to get. So here we've got dome origin X. So these three here are brand new settings when you do the finite sphere uh, mode. So dome origin X is the actual X origin of the dome, this dome here. So if I change that to 100, you'll see it move to the right. Set that back. If I say change that to 100 as well, the dome origin Y, it will go up and you get a different kind of HDRI effect. So this is quite good actually. Reset and if I do Z, this will move it closer to the screen. So this is what you'll get here. Right, so all these settings still apply. Dome orientation X, you can still do that if you want to. So if I did that 200, it would still move. So those all these settings still apply, which I've done in the previous tutorial, in the original HDRI tutorial. The links for that will be in the description box if you want to check out that tutorial as well. Okay, so that's the extra settings. So you're now you're probably thinking, well, what's the point? Um, I can just have the infinite sphere and I could just take my image, I could just render my image like that, for example. Well, with the finite sphere, what you can do is you can zoom in. So if I change this to five and change this to 25 here. Right. So here's my dome, here's my actual finite sphere. Now I can control exactly how I want this sphere to look like, so I can change the orientation, the origin. Maybe I want to change the X dome orientation by 100. Okay, so basically what you're doing is you can control the actual, the actual size of the dome. Get it to exactly how you want it to look like in your scene. Now with the if I just set these settings back to normal and that back to normal. 
with the dome or with the finite sphere sphere with ground there you go so what that does it just gives you a ground so just like we had a ground in the infinite sphere with ground this finite sphere with ground actually gives you a physical ground that your character could be standing on so I could zoom in and that's my character standing on the ground so this looks more realistic then, for example, say with infinite sphere with the ground. There you go. That looks more the the finite sphere with the ground looks more realistic. And then, obviously, you can you can change the same options: the ground, origin, x, y, and z. You can change that. You can add an actual ground on to catch the to catch the shadows if you wanted to. So with the finite box settings, you get the dome width, height, and depth. You still get the origin, X, Y, and Z, and you still get the orientation, X, Y, Z. So if that's the finite box is on, my dome scale multiplier, I'm gonna leave that to reset that back to normal. And what actually what I'm gonna do is set that back to five. And the width, I don't want it at 200, I want it at 50. And then I want the height to be 50. And then I want the depth to be 50 as well, for example, say. So there I've actually created a box, an actual box effect here. So obviously my character's here. I My character actually needs to come down a bit to actually put a feet on the ground. So I could do that by using the, the uh, translate, Y translate, if I just do reset to that as well. Box has gone up, I want it. There we go, she's on the ground and that looks a lot better. So if I zoom in, if I go down a bit, say about here, there you go. So that just basically creates, the, again, that's another way of controlling the environment, how you want it to look, uh, etc. So again, you've got the width, so you know, you could have the width to be actually you can have the depth to be 100 and now you've got yourself a little bit of a rectangle so so you've got yourself a bit of a rectangle it looks a bit more realistic as well so these, these are these are just different methods of ways of manipulating the HDRI you've got to give you the kind of effect you want for your scene so again we can move the the x-axis origin if I wanted to move it I will don't do 50 I'll do 50 it moves to the right 50. Okay, so you can always go ahead and play with these settings. So with the finite box, the finite box has got with ground as well. So if I add the ground on, there you go. There's our ground. Now you'll have to change some of these settings a little bit to calibrate for the actual ground here. So my character would probably have to go a bit further back. I might have to change the ground texture scale. Maybe put that up to 200. There you go. Looking a lot better. So these are just advanced ways of using HDRI maps to configure how you want your environment to look, how you want your DOM to look. So I hope this video has helped you. Make sure to give it a like. Make sure you leave a comment below if you've got any questions about HDRI maps. And make sure you subscribe. Check out these videos here as well for more information about lighting maybe to help you out in your, with your DAS Studio scenes. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button right here as well. So in next week's video, I will also be looking at the Sun Sky only environment mode. And I'll go through all the settings to show you how you can actually control the sun exactly how you want it and where you want to position it. So I'll see you in the next video. And remember the key to success is joy.